So you're having difficulty being able to tell the males from the females in your quail. I'm going to show you three ways to do that that are very easy to do and hopefully get that all cleared up for you in today's video. So stick around. So hey, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. So without babbling on about that too much, let me get right into it. So I'm going to open up the cage here and you can tell, well, let me get it open first. Okay, so you can tell I've got different, these are my latest grow outs here, and you can tell I've got different kinds of quail. And I can tell you there's a few of these that are pretty easy. Uh, let me grab one of them real quick. All right, this is, uh, oh, the Italian kind of quail. Very easy to visually tell that this is a rooster because he's got the nice, red, smooth breast on him here. And you can't, uh, you know, the hens will have a, a checkered pattern. I'll show you a hen next. Okay, this is a standard brown, and, and again, this one's very easy to uh, sex as well. Because like the roosters on the, uh, on the, the oh, what did I call it, the Italian, um, the roosters have a nice red breast, but the females have this checkered pattern on their breast. So you can easily tell the difference between a male and a female when it comes to standard browns or the Italian quails. Let me see if I've got a, uh, I've got a rooster here handy that's a standard brown rooster. Okay, here's a uh, close-up. You can tell the difference. Nice red breast on the, on the male here, that's a rooster. And the checkered pattern on the female breast, that's a hen. Easy to tell. Again, same difference between the Italians. I don't have an Italian female to show you, but I showed you the rooster so you kind of get an idea of that. It works the same way with both of these. Now, what if you're dealing with things like tuxedos? Okay, so now this is a tuxedo quail. They do not have the markings. You cannot just visually tell that they're a male or a female. But I'll show you how you can vent sex these guys uh, to tell easily if it's a male or a female. So if you turn them over, okay, so this is a hen. What I'm looking at is the bottom side of this one. And it'll be easier when I tell you, show you what a male looks like. But this is a hen. Uh, there's not much to, to show right there. Let me grab a rooster and I'll show you. Okay, we're looking at the underside of the rooster now. And what you'll notice is that there's a there's a bulb right here that you don't see on the hens. And it's kind of hard to tell, but if you just kind of push on that just a little bit, see that white foam that comes out? Let's see if I can get that in the camera view. See that white foam? That tells you that it's a rooster. So very easy to do. And it just takes just gentle. You're not really pushing very hard at all. Just a little bit of gentle uh, pressure right there. That foam comes out, and that tells you right there that it's a rooster. So if you're racing something like the A&Ms, the white birds, uh, I've got one in here. Let me show him off. Here he is. There we go. So I've got a, you know, an A&M here. So if you're raising something like this or the tuxedos that don't show the visual markings, again, you can always turn them over, and I can tell right away. Get that in the view. Hopefully, it's in the view. Yeah. And I can tell right away that this is a hen. It's not a male. It doesn't have a bulbous um, pouch back here in the back. And when I press, nothing comes out. So that is a. That is a hen. Now i got to catch it. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple of different ways you can visually sex some of those. Um, you can have to vent sex the others. I told you I'd tell you three ways. The other way, and the easiest way probably in a lot of ways, is just to wait till the, hen, the roosters start crowing. If, you, uh, if you're growing these out, as soon as they hit maturity, boy, they start crowing like crazy. So what I do a lot of the times is just stand around and watch them when they start crowing. Oh, that's a rooster. Grab them out of that pen, throw them in another pen so I can keep them separated. So that, that's an easy way to do it as well. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have another technique or something else that's working well for you. Um, other than that, I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, God bless.